estimate that the log is approximately seven feet in length and at its widest I would say uh, three and a half, four inches in diameter but it's got loads of knots in it as you can see so let's see how this gets on at back then right so you'll need to excuse the poor camera work before I start and most of this you're just going to see my backside <laughs> but there you go I know you like it anyway right let's go on with this This is what I'm talking about where I need to hit down the top of it to get it through the log into a better positioning for the platen. I hope I'm still in frame for this. Big knot there. Oh, there you go, it's starting to come off. Oh. There you go. First bit away. Just gives a second, I'll try and get this knocked in for you. Start for the top then. And as I say, it's the usual pure camera work because I'm on my own and I can't tell where I am. So you'll just need to believe me. That's there. Big massive knots there. That's how thick it is. There's the split starting. I hope you can see this, split it all the way down to this position here, I can't tell if I'm in frame or not, another big knot, there you go, well, that's how thick it was, you split it into three parts, hope you can make it that big knot, so we've come to a set of big knots here, so let's see it gets on. There you go. You can see they're yeah, just fine. Spine blade is true. I don't think you can grumble at that. So if this is the kind of work you do when you're out training, these guys in the military maybe need to do this to build height, uh, sentry positions, stuff like that. This is ideal for that. So here we see the SP53 in action when it comes to splitting and chopping. This is one area I feel this knife really does it sell it and preparation for your fire. And it's another wet, miserable day here. I'm raining all morning, the snow has cleared now. And I've prepped this fire here with the SP-53. So there it's there, sitting on top of the fuel. There's my back brace, with some feathers I prepped with it. And here's some of my kindling broken down into size and that'll just be added to the fire as the flames increase in height so i'll go and lay this platform out and we'll see how good the sp53 as it's striking a fire steel to get these feathers here going
here's the feather sticks we've done with it. Let's see how we got on with the fire steel. Oh, there we go. That was quite quick. Yeah, so it does good with that. Good fire steel striking surface here on the first couple of inches here. Sharp, it's actually sharp all the way along. No overly sharp. Uh, I've just removed the paint slightly with a bit of sandpaper and it's still stayed sharp as you've seen there. You can really you know, get the sparks flying off your fire steel. So it's good that way. And that's my fire up and running now so I'll need to get some more kindling on it. The wood is still quite damp all this weather I've been having recently. So one of the advantages of having such a large knife, it's brilliant for battening. And this gives us all this kind of dry wood that we're looking for to get a fire up going on a wet, miserable day like this. So that's the advantage of having a large knife like that. Obviously you can do it with the smaller knives as well. That's so much easier when you've got a knife as thick as this that can really take a beating. The bird's beak here, I feel this could be slightly larger for my hand. Uh, as I say, I've got a large to extra large hand, but I feel at times when I'm wearing gloves, it does slip off a bit. I'd also like to see an extended tang out the rear of the knife just so I can hit it through the logs to reposition it when it gets stuck in the logs as you've seen in my last couple of videos and I have heard people talk about these polymer handles moving after prolonged use and starting to slip around the tang I've never had the problem it's worked fantastic for me and as I say, I've had this knife, I think, about eight years now. It cost me at the time £120, and I think that was from Heaney Hayes I got mine, if I remember right. But I've just looked online today, and the Brownell site.co.uk is selling them for £85. So for what you're getting, that is absolutely fantastic for this knife, 5160. It can take some amount of abuse. I highly recommend this. This is one of my all-time favourite knives. For what I do out in the woods, camp chores, getting your fires up and running, getting them ready, processing through the logs, this blade definitely is the one for you, if that's what you're looking for in a knife. Right, I'm going away to get my breakfast on. Some bacon for breakfast this morning. I think you can tell that's the breakfast one. Royal's got little licky lips. <laughs> oh, I've got a waggy tail for bacon rolls. Right, that looks like my water's boiling there for the coffee. And my bacon can't be that far off being ready. Oh, yes, look at that. Lovely. Right, I'll go and get my rolls ready. I'll catch you all soon. Thanks again for coming along the channel. Appreciate you all jumping in, having a look at what I'm doing. So everybody stay safe out there.